Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another video. This is the Sage Business Cloud Accounting Tutorial. That's a lot to say, isn't it? Sage Business Cloud Accounting Tutorial. If you've been watching this tutorial from the beginning, you'll notice that my sales dashboard here is actually looking a bit more fancy now and is showing information. The reason being, we've entered sales invoices on the system. We have sales per day showing at the top here. We have a little chart here showing uh, monetary value of what is due and what's overdue. Top five customers, that's by sales revenue or turnover. Top five debtors, that's our top five customers that owe us money. And also an amount building for a VAT return here. Starting to look good. We're starting to get there. The purchase dashboard is still empty. So is the cash flow. Um, dashboard that's empty too the reason being we haven't done anything with the bank yet or the purchase side of the software now so far in this tutorial we've been through some of the settings here if I click on settings we've been through adding and editing business information on the software things like address business name We've also looked at adding logos and choosing templates for sales invoices, adding footers to invoices, color schemes for invoices, and also other documents, changing other documents, and just personalizing Sage, uh, personalizing the software to the way we want it to be. I also briefly went through emailing from Sage, messages you can add to emails, um, and other things when it comes to emailing from the software. If you need a refresher on any of those things, then please just go back um, and watch the relevant video. There are lots of other features here. Some of these I'll go through at the end of the course, such as opening balances, adding users. But some of these things you'll never need to use. But the best thing to do is just to have a look for yourself, see what is under settings you can even have a click and have a nosy around the best thing to do is just don't save you know, if you go onto something and have a look just don't save just click cancel at the end also in this tutorial I went through adding and editing customers so going to the customer list and clicking new customer clicking on a customer account to edit it same thing with sales invoices, going to the sales invoices list here, you can add a new sales invoice, the page looks almost identical. Here are invoices, we can click on them to edit them. And the same with products and services, once again, another page that's almost identical. We can add new items and products, services here, and we can edit ones that are added by just clicking them on the list. Before we move on to the purchase side of Sage, I think it's just worth going through a couple of reports on the reporting side for customers and sales. So if you click on reports here and go down to more, there are lots of reports available on the software, but there are a couple worth pointing out at this point. The first is the age debtors. This is who owes money to me or who owes money to the business. If you click on that, it will bring up a report of all invoices that are outstanding. So that's a report worth doing. And then just scrolling down, there are lots of other reports, but the other report worth doing is this sales revenue by product and service. You can have a look. There's also the sales day book. I'll mention that both of these give reports of sales and how the business is performing with sales. It's not worth going through the profit and loss yet or balance sheet because only the sales are going to show on these reports. Obviously, you need to be using um, all the software and reconciling everything. Everything has to be up to date and accurate for these reports to be accurate. Okay, a quick summary there of what we've been through so far in the next video Let's start by adding suppliers and editing suppliers. It will be so easy for you because you already know how to do that with customers and the process is almost identical.